Variable frequency drives are used in industries to vary the speed of the motor. This is made possible by varying the frequency of the power supplied to the induction motors. What happens, an operator through the operator panel gives a set point to the frequency, for example between 0 and 50 Hz. That frequency then ultimately is fit into the variable frequency drive through the programmable logic controller and hence the speed of the motor is varied. So in this video, I will show you how to make the logic and HMI for the frequency set point that is fit from the operator station to the variable frequency drive and ultimately to the induction motor. So let's get started. Create a new project in the Semantic Manager. Name it as VFT set point insert an S7 300 PLC station bring an S7 300 rake to the hardware configuration CPU 315 2DP And I will just insert an analog output card of 8 channels, each 12-bit configuration. Go to the object properties, outputs. Well, I will change the setting to the current for 20 milliampere. This depends on the VFD configuration. If the channel the analog channel set that is taking the set point value from the PLC has 4 to 20 milliampere, milliampere configuration then you must change it to 4 to 20 milliampere because these 4 to 20 milliampere DC current will travel from the analog output card of the PLC into the analog input channel of the VFD so you have to be consistent with the configuration for example the VFD set point channel takes 0 to 10 volt then you must change it to voltage plus minus 10 volt right but if it is 420 milliampere then you must set it to 420 milliampere into the PLC analog output card configuration right so you must remember this setting now I have made the configuration. I will save the configuration. Remember the address QW256. I will give it the symbol VFT set point. Go to the OB1 to create the PLC program. Well, I will be using FC106. That is the unscaled function. The value would be given by the operator on the HMI, and that variable and that value would be stored in a memory double variable I will demonstrate so no need to panic standard library FC 106 unscaled function well MD for example MD 30 well these are the reserved memory addresses in the PLC memory Right, so I am just uh, reserving MD30 for the set point value. The operator will give the uh, set point value on the HMI, 
and that value given by the operator would be stored in MD30 and then it would be unscaled to, a, to the variable frequency Hertz scale, right? Uh, for example, the variable frequency takes the frequency between 60.0 Hertz and 0 Hertz. No need to polarization, M1.0 is 0. Well, the return value I will store in MW2, well, QW256, it's the address of the analog output channel. What happens, the operator from the console will give the set point, for example, 30 Hertz, that 30 value would be stored in MD30, then would be unscaled between 0 and 60, and that hex value that is being uh, given by this block, the hex value would be the representation of the set point value in hexadecimal format, QW256, and then the analog output card would translate it to 420 milliampere into the field and then would be fed into the variable frequency draw input channel and ultimately the induction motor will change its speed according to the hertz provided by the operator so this is the procedure so i will save the logic now i will download But before downloading, let me open my simulator since I'm using a simulator. Change the PLC mode to the run mode. Go to op, uh, OB1 main program. Well, here you can see that now since MD30 is 0, no value is, is existing in MD30, well, the output is 0 as well. QW256 does not emanate any milliampere. Now, it is giving 4 milliampere into the variable frequency drive input channel, right? You must remember that the analog output channel that is giving 4 to 20 milliampere is interfaced with the analog input channel of the VFT right through hardwire 420 milliampere right <clears throat> now the logic is complete MD30 I, I will use this address in WinCC HMI and the operator set point would be stored here so let me open the my uh, WinCC, semantic WinCC. It's already opened, by the way. Okay. First, I will establish a connection between the HMI, that is the WinCC HMI project, and the semantic uh, PLC. That is a 7300, 315-2DP in this case. For that, I have go to the tag management. Well, it's already made, but you can go to the MPI section, create new connection, and once new connection is created, go to the connection parameters. Over here, you will insert zero, rack number zero, because in hardware configuration, the rack is zero, and the two slot has the CPU. Over here, slot number two, and that's it. Your configuration is made for the connection between HMI and Semantic PLC. Over here, let me re-enter. Well, operator set point. You can give it any name for the set point for frequency and the data type is 32 bit floating point 32 bit because MD30 is a 32 bit data 
the connection, new connection one, which must be the same. Well, the address is, if I go MD30, so you will give it the address MD30, bit memory, double word, 30. Okay. Now the connection setting and the entry of the required variable MD30 is successfully made. MD30. If the connection between the PLC and HMI is established, and then this value MD30 would be unscaled between 0 to 60 Hz and would ultimately be converted to the hex value and then 420 milliampere would emerge out of the analog output channel of the PLC. Those 420 milliampere would be fed into the VFD analog input channel for operator set point and so the induction motor will change its revolutions per minute according to the frequency of the VFD. I'll go to the graphic designer and we'll open the raw grinding page. I have made the IO field configuration on the raw grinding page. You can use any of these HMI pages. It's up to you. It is simply the text. Delete. And I will bring a new IO field onto the HMI page. Well, it will, it will ask for a tag that you want to connect with this IO field under the MPI connections I'll go to the new connection that I had established and I'll click on the operator set point variable and change it to input field we'll make some settings for the IO field make it bold well the background color global color no the format need to be changed to one decimal point and I will set the alignment simple enough now I'll, I have severed all the configurations I'll go to the runtime runtime has been activated and on the raw grinding page over here if I put 30 Hertz and if I go to the program well 30 has been stored in the MD30 and the frequency set point that is MD30 uh, set, that is 30 in this case is unscaled to hex value 13824 and this value will then be converted to 420 milliampere and so on will be fed to the VFD. If I enter 0 hertz, well, no uh, value is being output, that is, 4 milliampere would be output from the analog output channel since the minimum value is 4 milliampere. If I enter 60 hertz. 27648 that's the maximum value that is a 20 milliampere in this case that is being output by the AO card of the PLC and any value in between would be scaled accordingly for example 30 uh, for example 45 Hertz that is OB1 20736 if I check it into the simulator
I re-enter 60 hertz and the simulator you can see 6C00 that's the maximum output value of the analog, analog output card and that corresponds to 20 million pairs. So this is how the operator console is used for entering the set point of the variable frequency drive and then the this IO field is linked with MD30 over here in the logic and the value is unscaled accordingly. So this is how we make logic and HMI for the variable frequency drive set point. If you have any question about the project, you can ask me in the comment section. Bye for now.